Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? This liver shot on this. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Great punch. Rock him, sock him out of the shoot here. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Nice punch by Adesanya. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Tai Tuivasa. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Try to establish that jab. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Right hand upstairs. Big kick land. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And they separate. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! Nice punch land over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Oh, big knee. Ooh, diving punch lands. Now he's on top of him looking for a pin. And that will do it. He's done. He's done. <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Ruggley.